Hey, it's Cara, and today we are filming a massive unhaul. It's like, look at all this behind me. This is essentially a year's worth of low-key unhauling. So I will semi-regularly take books off my TBR shelf and stick them, I had them on the floor down here and I had a big pile growing. And that was my like, yeah, that's gonna go, but I'll leave it there for a while and if I change my mind on it, I can put it back on. Um, but it's now the end of the year, the day I'm filming this is the last day of the year. I think it's time for these to actively actually leave my house. Um, though mum, if you're watching this and you see anything you want, I will also mention specific ones that you should think about, um, hit me up, let me know before these go. Um, otherwise all these are just going to be donated um, to my local secondhand charity shop whatever I can find. And anyway, let's get started. This is going to be a long video. <laughs> I'm just going to run through most of these super quick, but I'll stop if there's anything particularly interesting to say. Um, so first off, we have World After and End of Days by Susan E. I also have the first one, Angel Fall, but I'm going to be doing a um, Red Books unhaul probably halfway through next year when I start running out of space on my shelves. And it'll probably go then, <laughs> but I'll leave it up for now. Um, and these are obviously book two and three in the Angel Fall series. I read book one, but I didn't, and I enjoyed it, but I didn't love it, and I never felt compelled to pick up book two or three. So they, it's just time for these to go. J by Hal Jacobson. I picked this up while I was working at the bookstore, um, and I don't even really know what it's about anymore. Um, <laughs> I don't know if I ever knew what it was about. There was just a lot of hype around it at the time, and I wanted to get on the bandwagon, but I never picked it up, and I don't think I'm ever going to. Brad's Farewell by Meg Rossoff. H H H H by Laurent Benet. I picked this up cheap um, in a historical fiction zone and I've just never felt inclined to pick it up. The Jewel by Amy Ewing. Oh, actually, never mind. I did already grab it off my shelf. This is Angel Fall by Susan E. <laughs> it can go then. The Air Affair by Jasper Ford. Althea and Oliver by Christina Maracho. Captain Crowley's Mandolin by Louis de, Louis de Bernier. Um, I, my favorite like love quote of all time came from this, um, but I have had it for a long time and never felt inclined to pick it up. So um, that quote was just in like a random Google search <laughs> and I love it, I adore it, but I don't know the context and I am never gonna. <laughs> Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte. I tried to pick this up off, like I love Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte and I was like, mm, yeah, let's give Wuthering Heights a go. I love me some tragedy, that's fine. Uh, no, this is so boring, I could not get into it. I even still have a bookmark in it. I got a whole like six pages. I could not, I could not cope. <laughs> IQ84 by Haruki Murakami. Um, this is a bind up of books one, two, like the whole trilogy, one, two, and three. Um, I have had this on my shelf a long time. I, I am well meaning to buy it, but well meaning to, I've been well meaning to read it. Um, but I just, it is too huge. I'm never going to do it. Shadow's Edge by Brent Weeks. This is book two in the Night Angel trilogy and I picked it up on a discount, hoping I would come across book one and I haven't. And also I've heard some meh things about Brent Weeks in the meantime. I know some people who love this. But also people who uh, hate his other work, so I'm feeling disinclined to bother picking up the first one. I've got plenty of other stuff to read. A Discovery of Witches by Deborah Harkness. This is book one in a trilogy. I've heard this one is amazing, but the trilogy goes downhill. Um, and I picked this up on a discount, and I have since felt disinclined to read it. Um, I will ask my friend if she wants this one, because I remember her being vaguely interested in it. Factotum by DM Cornish. This is book three in the Monster Blood Tattoo series, which came out when we were when I was a kid. Um, yeah, this is book three. I believe I have book one or two at Mum's. I'm just gonna unhaul them. I'm never gonna get around to them. I they sound awesome, but I'm never gonna get around to them. Everybody sees the ants by A.S. King. Wild Thorn by Jane Engl Eagland. The Girl from Snowy River and A Waltz for Matilda. I think A Waltz for Matilda actually comes first by Jackie French. This ended up being like a seven book series. They're Australian, uh, like Australiana young adult 
Um, I love Jackie French, but these were her biggest books and I tend to find her smaller books better for me. Um, and now that this is a seven book series, I just don't feel inclined to get invested. Revived and the originals by Cat Patrick. I think I've had these on my TBR since I was like 13, 14. Um, I read the, f they're not a series, but they're kind of like similar themes. They're all kind of magical realism. This one I believe has like clones and this one she's like come back from the dead. Um, and in the first one she had like reverse memory loss. I think it's got forgotten. I really enjoyed the first one. So I picked up these two thinking I would love them, but I've, it's been like 10 years and I still haven't picked them up. So they're never going to get read, are they? Alfieri on the House of Power by Patrick Kalman. I picked this up because I really liked his other series, um, or at least the first couple. And I intend to finish that series at some point. Um, and this also had some cool like CD, it, it, like it comes with a CD. Uh, it seemed really cool, but I'm never going to get to it. The Sunita's Daughter by Melinda Salisbury. I bought this when I first started Booktube. It was kind of doing the rounds. Still haven't read it. It's gotta go. Mystic City and Toxic Heart by Theo Lawrence. I picked these up on a discount at a bookstore. Um, I've heard people say they're a bit terrible. So I'm not gonna read these. Eleven Doctors, Eleven Stories. This is a Doctor Who anthology. And theoretically, I like basically every one of these authors. Um, which was why I got it and I kind of like Doctor Who but I've never been a huge Doctor Who person I keep like wanting to get into it but I've only watched maybe the first two or three seasons of the new ones and a couple of the really old ones um, I'm just never gonna get to this again I've had this since I was like 15 so coming on like 10 years uh, and yeah when did it come out I got it when it was basically a new release 2013 oh that's not as bad as I thought I was like 19. So I've had this for a bit and it hasn't been read, so it's never gonna get read. Someone else will enjoy this. This is looks like great fun. Stormfront by Jim Butcher. This is a series I think I could get behind if it wasn't literally like 25 books long. I'm not prepared to be invested. <laughs> the Sweet Far Thing by Libba Bray. This is book three in the Gemma Doyle trilogy. I read book one this year and to be honest, really didn't like it. So I can't be bothered continuing and I don't have book two. I have here a whole heap of Diana Gabaldon books. I bought the first one myself because I didn't have it. And then um, I got a bunch from my nan. She just didn't have the first one. Hence why I went out and bought it myself. Um, uh, and I, yeah, have, like, I keep theoretically wanting to read it. But they're huge and I'm just... I think it's gonna happen. I think mum also tried to read the first one and couldn't get into it, but this is the main one that like, mum, if you want these back, I don't have to donate them, just let me know. But otherwise I'll just take them to the op shop. So let me know. So we have Outlander. I don't even remember the order anymore, so I'm gonna just show them in the order they're sitting in this pile. Uh, the Fiery Cross, written in my own heart's blood, which I know is one of the newest ones. Voyager, Dragonfly and Amber, Drums of Autumn. A Little Life by Hanya Yanagihara. I just don't think I'll ever get to this. It sounds good though. Room by Emma Donoghue. The Luminaries by Eleanor Catton. This won The Man Booker when I, in 2013. Um, and I was super like down to get them. But also literary fiction is so hit and miss for me that I'm just like... Mm, and it's huge. I just don't think I'm ever going to get to it. Uh, the Prince of Mist by Carlos Ruiz Zafon. I got this because... Um, I really want to read the Shadow of the Wind series, but this isn't technically part of that series. Um, so I just don't think I will ever pick this up. The Kite Runner by Haled Hosseini. I had good intentions to read this, but... Oh my god, so many things are falling off. I had good intentions to read this, but I just don't think I'll ever get to it. The Last Witchfinder by James Morrow. My mum got me this one for Christmas a few years back, I think. But uh, I, it's just been sitting on my shelf and I haven't been inclined to pick it up. So I think I just need to send it away to make the space. I'm sorry, Mum. If you want it back, let me know. Same with this one. This is The Bones of Avalon by Phil Rickman. Um, King Arthur. Um, Elizabeth Tudor. John Dee. Things that I theoretically really enjoy, but I haven't been um, inclined to pick this up. Um, 
I just don't have the time. I feel really bad. <laughs> the Amber Spyglass by Philip Pullman. I just bought a new edition of this that matches my others. So it's still on my TBR, but this edition can go. Fable Haven, uh, which I think is the first one, and Group of the Shadow Plague, uh, which is like, I don't know, book three. Um, again, I feel like I'd really enjoy these, but I'm just never going to pick them up. I have so many other things to read. Delirium, Pandemonium, and Requiem by Lauren Oliver. I freaking adore these covers. But it's been sitting on my TV for far too long. Um, I've heard it is not that great. The first one's good, but it goes downhill. And I'm just never going to pick them up. I, I shouldn't be keeping books just because the covers are so goddamn gorgeous. Someone else can enjoy these. Lisa and Poe, also by Lauren Oliver. Um, this is one, again, I think I would really enjoy. It's a middle grade. There's pictures. But I, I, I now, I, I need to remember that I should not just pick up books at discount sales just because they sound kind of cool. I'll never read them. They're just going to sit on my TV. I have too many other things I'm super excited to read. And another one, which was the same kind of problem, The Interrogation of Ashala Wolf, which is book one of The Tribe by Amber and Queen Melina. This is an Australian Indigenous Own Voices novel. Um, so theoretically, I really, really want to read this, but also I'm never going to find the time. Oh. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just not going to get to it. Also, I think it's, um, oh, oh like, when did this come out? 2012. So yeah, like 2012 era dystopians, which are a thing, and I don't think I'm in the mood for that right now. Here's one that is probably not a shocker. Uh, the Bronze Horseman, The Bridge to Holy Cross, and The Summer Garden by Paulina Simons. Um, I was really excited to read these historical fiction, thought it was all a great thing, was just like trying to find the right time to pick up a big book. And then I've heard some people who've hate read it because of the abuse in this and that the main characters are absolutely awful people and awful to each other. And immediately I was like, nope. The Geography of You and Me by Jennifer E. Smith. I tried this in a try a chapter video that you can check out on my channel. Was not invested. It can go. The Dark and Hollow Places by Carrie Ryan. This is the sequel to The Forest of Hens and Teeth. I think this is actually the third one. Um, I That was a zombies kind of novel. I liked it, but I didn't like it that much. So this is going to go. Prodigy by Marie Lu. This is a, um, everyone's read this. I read the first one, didn't really drag that much, so I'm not going to read this. And also I don't own the first one, I borrowed it from the library. The Flapper's Vixen by Gillian Larkin. Read this in my try chapter, didn't really like it. One Day by David Nichols. Also tried this in my try chapter, actively despised it. And I think these are the last books. This is Insatiable and Overbite by Meg Cabot. I love Meg Cabot, but I liked her older stuff. It was more Buffy era vampires. This seems very Twilight era vampire-y and it's not appeal to me in the slightest. Ah! So those are all the books I'm going to be unhauling. Please let me know if there's... No, actually, you're never... not going to save any of these. Um, share your unpopular or popular opinions about these and tell me how trash they are down in the comments. Um, otherwise, I'll see you soon with another video. I'm glad to be rid of these. It's the end of the year. I'm so happy they're going. <laughs> Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.